Okay, here we're set up to test the flame rod. Now I've got videos on testing flame rods and so on, but this one, you know, it's down here, a little different spot maybe. Uh, and you can see it's in series and I got my meter right there. Burner should be coming on pretty soon. And we'll see what the flame rod reading is. Okay, burners come on. And we're reading about two. I really like to see about three and a half or four, but uh, we'll take this uh, flame rod out and we'll clean it. Okay, here's a close up of the flame rod assembly as it uh, projects into the flame. Okay, here's a flame rod in this thing. Uh, it's a little different than most. And uh, this is a ground rod, this big one. And this is a flame rod itself right here. I'm going to clean them up and put them back in. Uh, it looks like they've been cleaned fairly recently anyway. But I wanted to note something about this. Now this is different than most of these flame rods are with this ground uh, rod coming up there. This was Train's better idea when these, this model of furnace first came out. They didn't work very good. They used a hot surface igniter as a flame sensor and that was never very effective. It always seemed to be a problem. So. Uh, they put this in as an aftermarket. Uh, but I want you to note something on this one. When I pick this up, look at what happens. A flame rod can short out right there with that ground rod. If it shorts out, it's not going to work. So obviously this thing's a turkey and it needs to be replaced. I will clean it up and stick it back in and We'll see if we get any flame, better flame sense with it, but I'm going to have to be careful to keep this thing apart. Okay, here we go after uh, uh, cleaning that flame rod. It actually did go up a little bit. Not very much, but went up a little bit. Now you note that uh, I showed you that flame rod was failing. Now you can see I just shorted it out and it shut off. Uh, so, yeah, new flame rod would be nice. <laughs>